Imagine, if you will, I've been thinking about coming here and seeing the cross where Christ was crucified. And in my mind I'm thinking, it's surely going to be one peaceful, beautiful, relaxing, meditating, life-fulfilling dream to visit this place. And this is what I found. So continuing with the tour of the garden tomb. I can't explain just how peaceful it is here. And beautiful, look, there's just so many. This is actually a garden. They said they want to keep it as a garden. Uh, it was a garden in the first century. And uh, that's exactly what they're keeping it now. And, uh, and it's just so beautiful, right? Honestly, I can't tell you. I can't explain that to a camera, just the peace that there is here. It's um, a special place. Let's just have a... It's like Jonathan just said there, he said uh, his mind can't process everything that's happening. Right, he's full of different emotions. How nice is that? that cross where he's standing. So yeah, so oh, so let's have a look behind me. We see Mark. Large chapel, small chapel. Look at the crowds. Like there's just him singing like that, that's amazing. Who could have thought that I would have been here? Um, We see we have uh, see if we're preaching our tour guides. I think they're tour guides, but I think the chapel is down. Yeah, the chapels are down. But this is something special, my friends. Very, very special, and beautiful, and amazing, and <sighs> and this is right next to my hotel which is unbelievable so you just saw there we were just at the garden tomb and over here is the uh, golgotha uh, what's this here you see that because he lives i have not seen nor ear have heard neither have entered into the heart of a man the things which god have prepared for them that love him you know i used that text once when i was preaching like I ask people, uh, can you tell me what heaven's like? And people usually tell you a few things about what heaven's like. Oh yeah, it's great, it's nice. There's a, there's a, there's peace. There's no, there's no tears. There's a Christ is there, and it's amazing. And you know they have some small idea, but as this text says, no eye have seen, no ear have heard. Neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them. Heaven, my friends, will be far exceed any of our thinking, any of our ideas. In fact, our ideas cannot even come close. We cannot even imagine. So there, so from, uh, from the cross to the grave. From the cross to the grave. See, it's not very far. And this is outside the old town, outside the city walls. The city walls are down there, which is Damascus Gate, uh, just over the way there. And so, yeah. And I like what the woman said. The woman says that she believes Christ wasn't crucified at the top, but at the bottom of the roadside where people would walk past. And it makes sense, especially when you consider Christ was speaking to John and his mother and people were mocking him and um, yeah. But amazing. This is the garden tomb. This is 
This is the garden too. I'm not much of a speaker, um, but I can tell you this place is special. Come, come to Jerusalem. Come, come to Jerusalem and come to the garden tomb. Nope, Jesus is not here, he's risen, but his presence is here. I can tell you that. His presence is amongst us. And it is an amazing feeling. And look at all these tourists. Why do you think these tourists have come? You think these tourists have come because they like the sunshine? Or there's a... Well, it's, well the attraction is Christ. It's not even the rocks. The rocks look amazing and the rocks are great. But it's not the rocks. The rocks are not here why we come. The rocks cry out. They speak out. They cry forth the truth of God in Christ. That there is forgiveness for sin. And this is the center of the world right here. This is where Christ was crucified. And mm, I believe there's still archaeology uh, digs going on around here. Absolutely. This site, I mean, I, come on, why is this here? Who owns this? Like Jerusalem, whoever looks after the tourism, please sort this out. This is crazy that you would put this next to that. Do you not know how many people come here for this? Do you not know how much of an attraction this is for Christians around the world? And this is the site they see. Wow, that's crazy. But anyway, this is a day of rejoicing. This is a day of goodness. This is a day of peace. And uh, let's just zoom past those buses. There we go. The, the buses no longer exist. 